Welcome, students. Uh, we are going to be doing a little intro on how to make some gears in this Onshape software here. So I've started off with making a little uh, board here, a little piece that's it's two and a half inch square here. Uh, it's the same thickness as we always use that because this is going to get laser cut out here. So just a little piece of, and then we're going to put the gears on this. So two inches by two inches, extrude that, and then we'll get started here. So go ahead and pause that and go do that now. Uh, and then on this far right list here, uh, we want to find the one that says spur gear. It's probably not going to show up for you right away. So in the class website, there's going to be a link that kind of shows you how to get that going there for you. Um, and when you first click that, it will show up with this box and it will tell you uh, all this great stuff about how to control and make this gear. Um, and gears need to have the same size teeth on all of them, right? If you have some big gears and some itty bitty gears, they're not going to work together here very well. So we want to make sure that uh, they're all the same size as we're doing this. So before we actually get in there and start doing some things here, um, we want to create a sketch that's going to be kind of just a bunch of circles that, and I canceled that because we're going to actually go in here and start a sketch here. And we want to make some circles that are going to be where our, our uh, gears are going to be here. So notice I'm lining this second circle up right with the other one, and that little symbol shows up here. That means that those two are going to be touching but not crossing. So we're going to imagine uh, the gears is just circles for a few minutes here. And we got two circles. Let's put some dimensions on these. Let's make these whole numbers. Uh, that's going to make our life a lot easier, like 2.5. Sorry, these aren't whole numbers. Uh, these would be multiples of tenths. So 2.5, um, 2.1, uh, anything with a point and then one number after it, right? So in the tenths place. Uh, let's, I'm going to do this one as 1.7, let's say. Oops. And it's nice to have one gear that's going to hang off the edge a little bit. That's going to make our life fun, We're playing around with those gears a little bit. And you can move that one around if you want. See how it can move around the edge there. That one's about 0.9, so I'm going to make that 0.9. And I'm going to make well, maybe one more. And this one I'm going to say, uh, that looks like a 1.1 maybe. Cool. Uh, anything like that would work. You can add more gears. Uh, I wanted to show you something that you cannot do. Uh, you cannot make a gear that's going to touch uh, two other gears like this, uh, um, like that would actually work. Never mind. Um, but I'll show you what I mean here. Uh, you can't make a. Let's think of it like a triangle of gears. So you can't make something like that. That would not work. Uh, we'll talk about that more later once you have some gears in your hand. You can really see why. But you know, probably at least three gears on there would be a good spot, good uh, place to start there. We're gonna say okay there. And now we're going to go back to that gear generator here. Uh, so uh, spur gear just means that's the type of gear. There's lots of different types of gears out there. Um, and we want to, first off, let's select the origin position. So we'll click there. And then now we'll say, hey, I want to have the gear show up right there. And that's why we were doing that sketch is so that we can put it in the right spot there. Um, and then a couple other things here. We made this one, uh, I believe that was 1.7. So we'll say number of teeth. Let's make that 17. To make our life easier, we're going to make the modules 0.1. So uh, if you multiply these two numbers together, the modules and the number of teeth, you're going to get the diameter of that circle that we created a while ago. All right, so we'll say that looks pretty good. Center bore, we want a center bore. It means a hole in the center. Uh, let's make that uh, an eighth of an inch, a good size. And I push the OK button, and now we've got the gear there. And you can always come back here and make some corrections here. I'll notice here that I didn't 
put the correct thickness of the wood there that we're going to be using. Um, let's see, pressure angle, and circle pitch diameter. And you can see there when I changed the 17 in the modules to 0.1, I didn't mention this earlier, but 1.7 was that number, uh, the diameter of the circle here. Pitch diameter is going to be that, the size of the circle there. All right. So now we're basically going to repeat that for all the other ones here. Like this one, for example, that one was 0.9. So repeating that again, I'm going to go through this and do it again. Select origin position right there. I want the number of teeth to be nine teeth. And it should be 0.1. And look at that. That's going to give me that, that value right there. And the thickness is this. Center bore is an eighth of an inch. And that is, is overlapping there right now. Uh, but that's actually not going to be a problem because in real life, we'll be able to kind of just rotate that and fix that problem there. All right. That looks pretty good. I'm going to accept that again. And then we're going to do one more gear down here, spur gear. And uh, let's put that in the correct position right off the back there. Center bore. Keep them an inch. Let's say, I think this one was 0.7, so we'll say 7 teeth at 0.1. Looks like I was wrong. Uh, we're going to have to come back and fix that in a second. I forget what size this circle is supposed to be. Oh, is it 1.1? Uh, and then we'll do the thickness correct also. All right. And see, I didn't get that right. So this one is supposed to be 1.1. I did something wrong there. It's pretty year. Final it's pretty year there. So number of teeth, that should be 11. Module should be 0.1. There we go. And we officially have three gears. If you are feeling like you want to adjust these just for the sake of the computer, you can rotate this and click on, I clicked on transform there. I clicked on the part. I'm going down to rotate. And the last thing it needs here is the axis, which would be like the center spot here. Now you can rotate that one until it looks like it's not really a necessary step, but it's kind of fun to make it look like it's what it really looked like here. And we can do the same thing to this one. Axis can be the center. We'll rotate that one. That's a little off. But that one's pretty good. All right. So now we've got that. The final thing we need to do here. Uh, is we need some holes in this piece so that we can um, put a little bolt through there and we will uh, make this thing go together. So this is just a real quick demo. So we'll do this real quick here. Ah, no, that's why I didn't do that. Back in this original one, we would like to have some circles in here that are gonna represent those holes. And I'm gonna force them all to be equal size right now. And they're definitely not the right size, but they're all the same size. And now I can change that to 1 8th, and then they all change to 1 8th. I'm gonna accept that. And now, I didn't need that sketch actually. I'll hide those for a moment. I'll extrude, cut, some holes right there, removing, cutting that hole. All right, look at that. We got them, some nice pieces there. And we got that happening. We have some nice looking gears that are going to work there. And since you made yours with them hanging off the edge, if you have a friend who has these, you have the same size teeth on your gears, you can actually 
make your gears mesh up and link up with their gears. So pretty fun if you are running into some friends out there. So this is just a quick how-to. We will talk more about how to uh, actually do some calculations off this and you know how fast the gears are spinning and all that good stuff. We'll talk about that later. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.